a almond abstract, extract, extract, abstract, almond abstract. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and makes you feel good. Like for real. Like I say that, but I'm serious. Anyway, if you follow me on the other channel, then you know, it's been a couple years, but I have basically been living with intention, great intentions, good intentions, and living in true intentions. So not just positivity, but true intentions. And it feels good. It feels good. You should try it. But anyway, we're going to talk about some fragrances that I deem unique to me. So you know how sometimes you open up a fragrance and we often see reviewers, or sometimes you might say this yourself, oh, this smells like it's similar to, it has a note of that reminds me of, well, there are some fragrances I have that don't remind me of nothing. It's like, it is what it is. This is the fragrance. Don't nothing else smell like this. And um, when I say smell like this, I mean as in another fragrance, like whether it's designer, niche, whatever. Now, as far as I know, there's only one fragrance here that has a clone. All right, sorry about that. So I only have one fragrance here that I know has a dupe. Like someone has cloned the fragrance. Actually, it's so much better, okay? Other than that, these are just fragrances that I have found or discovered or was actually sent to me that just smell good. And I don't, I haven't smelled anything on the market that smells like it, okay? I haven't. So we're going to start with this first one. And I have like basically two, three honorable mentions. And this is going to be like an honorable mention because I don't have a full bottle, but this is definitely on my wish list. This is Black Phantom from Killian. So you all know I purchased this um, about a year ago. This is so sad. About a year ago from the cosmetic company store. It comes with all these different fragrances and a really nice um, whatever. <laughs> the thing that holds is the spray. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? Anyway, it's a bunch of different uh, fragrances from them, but you would think I would like I love rolling in love, and you would think I would like, you know, good girl, whatever, but I absolutely am obsessed with the chocolate rum combination that is in Black Phantom. This is so good to me, and when I smell it, the only thing it reminds me of is I also think of how I feel with the chocolate, the rums, and all that. I kind of feel the same about that Mancera's chocolate chocolate violet. You, you know what I'm saying? Like those two, they don't smell alike. However, I feel so strongly about this scent and it's so weird because I've never been one. I told you all that like chocolate. However, I've never smelled anything like this. I've never smelled anything like this. I've seen the bottle at the store once with the whole little, you know, face or whatever at the cosmetic company store on sale and I didn't get it. But I've said it before and I mean this. <laughs> if I see it at that price again, is mine okay so this is this is how it comes this little magnetic like a lipstick holder but it's actually the travel spray holder and this one is black phantom oh my god y'all this is so good this is so good i know it's probably like a masculine scent i don't know i think it's unisex i really think it's unisex it depends on what note pulls on you for me it's like iris um heliotrope Heliotrope, that's what's in here. Heliotrope pulls on me. So it has dark chocolate, rum, caramel, coffee, sugar, almond, sandalwood. Now on me, I definitely get chocolate, heliotrope, and almond. And I told you all that. It reminds me of that sharp almond, like the almond you would get in a almond abstract. Extract, extract, abstract? Almond abstract? The, li the liquid that you would put in cake. The almond vanilla abstract. The almond abstract. Girl, listen. Um, it's still hot. My AC has not been replaced. <laughs> She's delusional. Okay. Don't worry about it. It should have been delivered today. And hopefully, you know, it's a holiday. Hopefully, it will be put in tomorrow. But anyway, I get chocolate and I get almond. That clear liquid almond that you would make with a cake. Okay. It's strong and I get heliotrope and I'm obsessed. I love this. I don't have anything that smells like this. 
I, I don't even know if anything exists like this. But this is one of the ones that lasts a long time on me. I have no complaints when it comes to uh, this fragrance from Killian, for sure. There's a couple other ones. I'm like, what? It's over with? Where you go? But this one actually lasts. So, Killian Black Phantom is definitely... That thing is so good to me. I don't know how I would, where I would wear this to, but I would definitely wear it for me in all black. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into this next one. So, this next one is also a... I'll just say honorable mention because it's not really relevant right now, but it's a fragrance that when it came out, a lot of us wore. We were excited to wear it. It was that grown woman's floral fragrance. Even though this fragrance note lineup is ridiculous, like it makes absolutely no sense to me. I'm actually going to pull the notes up because this apps, this makes no sense to me. So this is Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture. I've had this fragrance forever. I Back in the day, we used to buy these and run through these. We thought we was grown. We was over spraying. It was floral. It was loud. It was tuberose. Like, very heady. Long lasting. You could spray this in the morning and it would last all day. Like, when I smell this, I smell someone who used to be a really good friend of mine. Like, her face pops up because she used to wear this all the time. But, n nothing. <laughs> when you smell other things, people might say, oh, it has a hint of or reminds them of, like, something from Viva La Juicy, right? Because that's a very known fragrance. When that fragrance came out, all kind of companies were coming up with fragrances that smell like or was similar to, right? And everybody wants that sweet, floral, juicy, mouth-watering, fun fragrance. But when it came to the original, I don't, I don't know nothing that smells like this. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. This is crazy. So I'm going to just tell you a few of the notes. First of all, it says watermelon, passion fruit, hyacinth, and green apple. I think not. <laughs> I think not. Marigold, green leaves, mandarin orange. Those three could be the top, but them fruits and watermelons, uh, no ma'am. Two rose lily, rose hip, and then the bottom has creme brulee, caramel, vanilla, precious woods, and patchouli. Ma'am, this is patchouli, white floral, and maybe uh, some sweetness. I can't spray it on me. Some sweetness, but this, this, nothing smells like this. Let me know down below. Have you ever smelled anything that smelled like Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture? Now, I have like the gorgeous gardenia, whatever, the, the pink bottle from Gucci that smells like Viva La Juicy to me, but, and it's ridiculously expensive, but when it came to this original, this is, this is the headache inducer. <laughs> Nothing smells like this to me. This is different, okay? And the last one I'm going to mention as an honorable mention, because I talk about this all the time, it's ridiculous. Opulent red. So I have a habit of saying this reminds me of leather, saffron, like all the things, and it's the weirdest scent. But I'm gonna tell you like four notes in here that makes absolutely no sense to me. It has oud, has vanilla, cashmere, taco bean. I'm gonna give you a few more. Patchouli, cognac, two rose jasmine, some pear, heliotrope, Brazilian. None of that. They don't smell like any of that. And I don't know anything else that smells like this. And I keep asking y'all. Is this an original fragrance or is it duping or cloning something else? And no one has told me it's cloning anything else. I can't imagine something being really expensive smelling like this. But this is so different, so unique, and I've never smelled anything like this. And I keep saying that. And it's just like a Wilson Leather store full of Cabbage Patch doll heads and saffron it's the weirdest thing i'm sure it's the heliotrope but it's the weirdest thing so this is opulent red from the top of, and i've never smelled anything like that blew my mind the first time i sprayed it i was like oh i must have sprayed this right because you know sometimes you get these fragrances from over yonder and you got to spray them a couple times to get that top off you know it's been traveling for a while and that first burst is normally not the fragrance because of how they ship it. So you spray, spray. And I kept saying, well, dang. Spray, spray. Went to bed with it. Woke up. Was like, what is this? And I've been addicted to it ever since. So, all right. Let's get into this one. So, this is a beautiful fragrance, too. One of my favorites is this Alien. When I smell this, when we're out in the streets, I know what it is. Nothing. Nothing. For as long as this bottle has been in existence, smelling alien. 
Alien is alien. Now, alien has flankers that has hints of it, and some of them smell like it. Some of them, you know, y'all say no, but but it's the jasmine. It's very indolent. It's beautiful, and alien is alien. That like, there's no other alien. There are just like there's no other angel. I feel like Mugler did very well. Terry, Terry Mugler from the beginning did very well with introducing this fragrance to us. The original was a bomb. Now there is a dupe of Alien, and it is from. It's not Latafa. It is not. I'm going to see if I can find it and I'll put it down below. But there is a dupe of Alien, and every time I try to go get it, it's sold out. But I saw the other day. Very affordable. Let's just say it's like 30 bucks or whatever. It is duping or cloning the original Alien. Not this one that they done made a couple years later that is, they didn't change the form. I'm talking about the original Beast, okay? That thing right there is amazing. So I need to get it. But anyway, nothing smells like Angel. Nothing smells like Alien. When it came to both of these uh, fragrances, and I don't even have Angel because it's, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I have the Eau Crocer, but that original patchouli, whatever thing, magic, I cannot do it. I, I hauled it once. I sprayed it until y'all couldn't do it. Somebody told me to get the dupe from Darcy. I did that. It was horrible. I cannot do it. I don't know what it is, but it just makes me sick. But this, okay. Even though it's Mugler now, right? We're not Terry no more. Nobody still can't, like, there's nothing that smells like or reminds you of Angel and Alien. I'm going to stop saying you, me. There's nothing that reminds me of Alien from Terry Mugler or Mugler, Mugler and Alien. Nothing. So another fragrance that when I smell it, I don't, I've never smelled anything else like it. It's supposed to be a unisex fragrance. I think it leans more feminine. And this is Roses Berberanza from Maison Lancome. Yeah, just the juice alone is just beautiful. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is so addicting. It starts off with tangerine at the top. I don't get that. I'll just get straight ginger at the top. This is Damask Rose Pistachio Raspberry Ginger Green Notes. And it has like hazelnut, honey, rum, and vanilla. Just imagine those. Those with ginger and some floral. And I mean floral, violet, saffron, that floral. This is so this is the weirdest fragrance. Like nothing, nothing. You know, I really wish uh, this, this is horrible that they would go and start <laughs> cloning some of these. Yeah, this is different. This starts off very sharp and it's sharp like ginger. And I guess tangerine, but it's sharp like ginger to me. Then it goes into like a liqueur. You know how you get like a orange, like liqueur. That's kind of like what this reminds me of. But it also has like saffron, violet, and then the hazelnut. But everything I'm smelling, nothing's creamy. Everything's sharp. As if you just have a glass on ice, a spicy liqueur, like orange and some spices with, um, with ginger like shaved ginger just a little bit in there hazelnut the hazelnut is not creamy it's sharp it's more of a liquid hazelnut like that you would use a pump for like coffee and maybe like a drizzle of caramel i don't know it's really weird it's really good it's gourmand but it is mm, more and not edible gourmand more like hot tidy gourmand like that this is good like a good old nice nightcap okay this is so different but i love this i don't i don't have anything to like this absolutely nothing if you know a company that clones or dupes these let me know i doubt it i'm gonna keep paying for those because i'm obsessed with those bottles i don't remember what site i was on this is years ago i remember being probably fragrance net it had been fragrance net or perfume.com years ago they had a bunch of these little bottles of the Histoire's perfumes, and I just bought a bunch of them. This, I mean, they probably was like 20 bucks a piece. I mean, they were cheap then. They're not that cheap now. Even for the smaller bottles, they're not that 
you know, inexpensive. But I got rid of a couple of them because it just wasn't for me. They were more like, they smell vintage like to me. They smell like, remind me of an old black leather purse, old church lady black leather purse where her fragrance has wasted in her purse. And I, I would smell these smells like they had rose. I don't know, it's a bunch of them and I, did, I just didn't like them. But the ones I like, I kept. And I can't remember the other one, but this one's 1804. I have since purchased this one again. So this is a pineapple bomb, pretty much. Okay, so this is pineapple peach, tiari flower, jasmine, lily of the valley. Mm -mm. So let me tell you what I get. I get pineapple, a very sweet floral, which is like jasmine, tiara flower, definitely lily of the valley, patchouli, and some spices, which is a nutmeg and clove. That's what I get. White florals, the tiara flower. It's like a juicy, overripe pineapple. It's just a bowl of that juice with the chunks of pieces in it. Tiara flower, lily of the valley, jasmine, and you just sprinkle spices. And let me tell you why I love this. We make the pineapple, well, we make pineapple smoothie bowls and pineapple smoothies, but we make the pineapple water. And for the last, I would say like five or six months, I don't just make pineapple water. I actually use it for the base for my teas too. So this reminds me of like when I would make like the spice tea with the pineapple water. This is so good. And I'll probably for always buy this 1804. I don't think I need a big bottle because it's strong and lasts on me. But yeah, this is Histoire State Parfum and this is 1804. So let me know if it's another one that you think I should try in that line of, of well, just from the fragrance house. I can't remember which one I had, girl. I think it was Rose or something. And I don't know why it reminded me of the church lady with the black leather purse with the candies in it. And, but it's not that smell of like, the it's a smell, like vintage leather smell. That's what it smells like to me, like vintage leather with something that's built in it. And I can't remember which one it was, but it was strong and it was not for me. This particular fragrance, nothing, nothing smells like this. So much so, Latafa said, we ain't even try to clone that one. Okay, they, they don't want to do every, every last other one except for the one I need them to do on the cool. Okay, this is the one I want them to do, but they did not. So this is... To Bruce New from Tom Ford. And nothing smells like this. <laughs> nothing. I don't care what you say. I mean, I mean, prove me wrong. Send me the sample. But I have never smelled anything as weird as this. But we already know Tom Ford make fragrances that often are duplicated, right? And so we'll say that fragrance smells like this. But there aren't too many fragrances uh, that he has I could think of that has a scent profile that smell like something. Maybe the old back in the day noir, you know what I mean? But not these bottles, not this line. But this has like Lily of the Valley. No, this has Lily, Jasmine, Sichuan Pepper, Tuberose, Styrex, Benzoin, Cocoa, Suede, Musk, Tonka, Oud. Mm. Nothing. I used to get dressed up, you know, go hang out with my girlfriend at the outlet mall, right? And I would go into cosmetic, the cosmetic company store, and they always had this, especially the big bottles. I would go in there, and I would never wear fragrance until I got there. If I was going to like a Sephora or anywhere that I knew I was going there first, I wouldn't wear fragrance until I got there. And this would be the fragrance I would always spray on myself. Then I would go shop the mall. No, no lie. She could tell you. And I mean, I was, I was spray, and they would be pissed. I know, that, I know the workers are probably like, what in the heck? But I would always say, oh, I had to spray it on me, see how long these last, because these don't last long. And then that'll determine if I want to purchase it by the time I get through shopping. But this is every time I went. And then one day I was gifted the bottle, and I was like, okay, sir, thank you. Yes, we thank you. We thank you. The bottle lasts longer than you, but we thank you. Now, I'm going to say this. Not all fragrances that are unique, that don't smell like something else, or I've never smelled before, profile, are beastly, okay? Because I just showed you a bunch of, like, strong, 
Diva Mode, Beast Mode, we even call them fragrances. They loud, I know. I, I don't think I showed you one that, that was quiet, okay? <laughs> All right, so this next one, I want to hand put it for notes because I have a habit of saying hemp in this cannabis. This one right here is for Botanica. It reminds me of something, but this I've never smelled like this before. For me, when I smell this on my body, it smells clean. This reminds me of a clean baby wipe. You know how sometimes you get those scented baby wipes that's lightly scented or something? It just reminds me of clean. I don't know why. A clean baby wipe. It reminds me of baby wipes. It's the weirdest thing. I, I don't know. It's on my skin. On my clothes, I get like florals and i said it before so this says it's rose carnation cannabis vetiver amber but the top is mint i just i just get as if it's a feel of roses like soft roses not the loud strong roses like soft petal roses right in a feel of hemp i'm gonna say hemp and the wind's blowing and you get a little bit of everything and it's a weird combination so it doesn't smell like which you may smell when someone's smoking it. It's almost like hints of, I don't know how to describe it, but see, I don't smoke, so I don't know how to describe it, but um, ashy, it's ashiness. I'm gonna say ashy, ash, like ash, like hints of ash, but light ash, fresh ash. I don't know, it's really weird. I like it, I wear it, they wear it too. It is what it is, for Botanica. I think most people would like this for a fragrance. I don't think, I don't know. I never really, I never really hear people saying they get the hemp like like that or the cannabis like that. I never hear people saying, oh, I get number cannabis on me. I, I never hear that. But if you do, let me know down below. I get floral. These When the tops are black, I can never find the hole. <laughs> Yeah, when I first spray it, it does not smell. I don't smell mint. I smell rose and something. I do like it. I just never bought the big bottle. I don't know why. I used to find these in Ross, y'all. And now I don't. So, because y'all are hip. So, we're not going to find them. Last but not least, this is another softer fragrance. Not so be smooth. Uh, very unique. I would say that this one, I don't know if this one came out before Lipstick On with Mason Margiela. This is Lipstick Fever. I have had lipstick on. And for me, they don't smell like. They don't smell like. They both have like this lipsticky like type of scent. This is more iris, more powdery, more softer to me. More feminine, more after bath, more nighttime post encounter for me. For here it says it says raspberry and violet at the top. Iris patchouli, cedar, and vanilla. This is really good. Let me see what lipstick on um, has in its notes. So for lipstick on, let me see what it says. What is the difference in these two? Yeah, okay, so for lipstick on, it is sharper. It has heliotrope, bergamot, neroli, orange blossom, taka, yeah. They don't smell alike to me, and I've said that in the past. But Lipstick Fever is a really nice, powdery, more feminine, softer, softer lipstick fragrance. That reminds me of like vanilla, I don't know. Like lipstick with, I don't know, it's very mouthwatering <laughs> when I spray it. But it's probably because of the berries. It's very mouthwatering and fruity and flirty and fresh, right? Like it smells clean and fresh. So this is unique to me because I, I've never had a lipstick fragrance before. Like it's, you know, sometimes we'll get lipsticks and, and they have like a scent to it. And I hear makeup, like, I hear makeup reviewers say this all the time. Like certain makeups have scents and they don't like it because that scent and lip or scent, you know, in their palettes or whatever. I don't know anything else that smells like this, but if you do, let me know. Like I said, for me, lipstick on is more sharper and it's a little different for me. But this, I don't have anything that smells like this, but this. And I've never smelled anything that smells like this, but this. But if you have anything or have smelled something that's not a cologne or a dupe that smells like or reminds you of any of these fragrances, put it down below. I want to know. Or 
can't think of nothing. Tell me a fragrance in your collection that when you smell it, nothing comes to mind. Like there's no other fragrance that smells like it. It's very unique. And so when we use that word and we throw that out there, this is the unique fragrance. Is it really unique? Like, is it really unique? Because some of these fragrances I've seen people say it's kind of like unique. It has that Dr. Pepper-like, you know, thing to it. I'm like, oh girl, I can name a bunch of fragrances that smell like that. Or sometimes we'll get fragrances with two bros and it'll be bubble gummy. Well, there's a lot of bubble gummies, you know, my way. There is Lanchard, there's a lot of, you know what I mean? Velvet vanilla. So that how it comes to mind. But when I smell these, nothing. Nothing comes to mind. Especially that alien. Okay. Ooh, roses but bronzes, everything. Everything. And that black phantom. Somebody send me that. Somebody send me that. Put in the atmosphere. Yes. Anyway. So I'm out. I'm about to go. Eat my dinner. Eating raw again. So I don't know. Got to come up with some fun to eat for the night. But I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for always coming back to support me. Thanks for all the love y'all gave me on the Father's Day video. Yeah, it was a... Girl, I had to get off social media for like 24 hours. I was like, I cannot. I don't want anybody to post. I ain't gonna post nothing. I don't want no parts to this. But Sunday, I literally just shut it down. I was like, no. And I really haven't been on social media, social media much today either. I'm gonna let it ride for a couple of days. So that, um, yeah, I'm not so affected by what I see because we are affected by what we see, believe it or not. So I'm thinking about doing a few Amazon like wig reviews. I'm thinking about ordering a few. Let me know if you're interested. This is actually hair BB, but yeah, I'm thinking about ordering a few and trying them out. So if I do, let me know if you want to see that. But other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.